Greetings and welcome back to Rise of Cultures. This video is going to get sewn together from parts because there's going to be some time jumps taking place here. And I'm not really sure how many there's going to be. We're going to have to see about that. Anyway, let's just talk about things. Now, first thing I want to talk about Sabina's quests here, because I inadvertently closed the one before. You can see she's asking for nine technologies, and I already have those. I have all the technologies I can have until, of course, we take care of her issue. The one just before that was I had to get three farms to the maximum happy level, which is the reason you see this mess right here. I actually had to move things around, but I did manage it. So they're all the happiest here. Now, what difference does that make? All right, so this is a rural farm right here, and you can see that one hour gets me 9,798 food for just an hour. Now, if I go to this one up here, which is basically the lowest uh, morale there is, right? This one is 5,198. So... Yeah, that's a big difference right there. So that's the reason you don't see any over here. You can see I have nearly 2 million gold. So gold isn't really a problem. Food is a problem. Oh, and I did upgrade this. I got the pieces and I upgraded it. So I'm getting a 13% bonus there for everybody. Right, so I have this mess right here. Now these guys over here are actually getting me some really nice numbers here. So definitely a reason to be doing that. Okay, so let me just close that out now and see what else she wants. Oh, that's that's annoying. Okay, I do have two incidents, but here's the thing. That's getting very expensive, not just in terms of food and gold. In terms of the trade items, those are getting expensive. All right, but I do have two incidents around, so I'm just going to take care of that. Okay, we're getting close to this one, the watchtower. And I do believe, yeah, I have another one over here. All right, I'm just going to have to start leveling the uh, houses. I think I have half of them. All right, let me just do these. And let me show you what I'm talking about. I need 11 of the iron pendants, and I need 11 linen shirts. Now, linen shirts isn't really a problem. I'm going to have to go out and get more iron pendants, though, from the trader. So that's something I'm going to have to do. So we might as well just do these now. I mean, they're going to take nine minutes. But it's something I'm just going to have to take care of. I do. You know, I should leave six available because I'm going to have to do some recovery, some military recovery. And uh, I got this spot down here and you can see I moved my military assets down there. So they all fit now. So hold on a second here. So I got this piece of land just above it. So things work better. It allowed me some space up there for the, um, where am I getting out of this? Uh, for the farms. Anyway, um, right, so that's what we have going here. Yeah, the trading, I actually have a decent number. I got 6,100. I'm probably going to need some um, pendants, though. So let me see. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Okay, well, oh, I don't, actually, I don't want to do that one. I got confused. Pendants. Let's see. Is there anything like 100, 150? I, oh, it's 200? Any small number? I could do the 180. I should probably do the 180. All right, I'm going to do the 180. All right, so I do the 180. Got some more. I can put some more linen shirts up when I can turn the traders on again. Oh, money. All right, so I'm working on a couple of the houses. I'm going to have to wait for the other ones. So let's talk about Raging Bull. You can see it's saying 7 of 8 now. So in the last video, it was 5 of 6. As soon as I completed that one, I got another one that said six of seven. So I did have to do both of those five um, part territories. So that was kind of grindy there. And the second one didn't really give me very much. I did get the extra plot, and you saw where I was using it for the first one, but not the second one. Now, I do have the last spot open, and this is going to be a boss fight with him. So I'm guessing as soon as this is done... I'm going to be able to scout this, which is kind of what I mean by the time delay. I don't know how many battles that's going to be. Hopefully it's just one. Otherwise, there may be a long time delay because I'm going to have to do three of them. 
All right, so I can't really upgrade any more, so let's go on in here. Okay, I'm going to get King Minos as a champion, apparently. I should say as a commander. But more importantly, I'm getting another piece of land. Although, he might have a good buff on him, and I can use the two I have. So, I mean, it might be all right. All right, so obviously he is going to be the big problem. So hopefully, you know, this, the last region really was putting those fences in annoying places. I'm hoping there's no fences here and it's a straight up battle. Okay, a lot of cavalry. There's no range, guys. Okay, that is a big benefit for me. All right, let's put them down here. I mean, we'll do this. I'm just going to I'm going to lay them down like this. All right, and we're going to put them over here. Should I have the cavalry going around the side? Probably not a bad idea. All right, hold it a minute. So they can flank. All right, obviously the rest of it isn't the problem. The, the bosses usually seem to be the big problem. So let's see how this goes. Okay, I got a heal over here. It's a good idea. Okay, and I really need to diminish numbers so we can just concentrate on him. Where is he anyway? Okay, we have him surrounded, or maybe he has us surrounded. Okay, I see the stone coming. All right, bump on the head. Oh! Well, either he was a lot weaker than Gilgamesh or the upgrades that I did were just really good. But I mean, it's fairly easy to have these upgrades by the time you get to this fight, right? It's just that I can't upgrade the cavalry because that's going to be in the Egyptian stuff. So I guess he's going to subligate himself to me now, since he's going to be one of my commanders. All right, acquire. Well, all is fair in love and war, they say. You have bested me and my powers. This humble fisherman seeks to concede. All right, so he's going to be one of my... I wonder what his ability is. Okay. I think he sneaked out. Um, wait a minute, what does it do? He spawns some Minos bull riders. Oh, um, okay, he wasn't there. He's there now. Okay, that's kind of interesting. All right, so this is obviously Valley of the Gods. Right, this is Valley of the Gods. It's going to take 50 minutes. We're not going to sit around waiting for 50 minutes, right? No, we're not. I do want to begin working on this. I'm hoping it's one fight. If it's one fight... In 50 minutes, we can come back and do the one fight. Otherwise, yeah, I'm going to have to come back in a while. Now, I did buy some extra ones of these, right? Oh, first things first. I need to do repair work. So I need three for here. And I didn't lose any cavalry. Wow. That's actually amazing. I mean, for a long fight with a boss and... The horsies liked a melee, too, and I didn't lose any of them. I actually lost somebody in the range area. Okay, that's kind of amazing. All right, I'm just going to do this so we can get that one back. All right, uh, I did this one. Okay, acquire eight regions. Okay, I did that. Okay, research composite bow and one range barracks to level three. We did that. And since you've unearthed the truth about my heritage, you, you mean... What you were spewing out of your mouth since we met? I suppose there's nothing better than me to join you and add my strength to your own culture. Okay, and I got some more of that. I can't use any of it for now. Death March. Pharaoh Minis. Who is this vermin that tries to scurry from my sight? No, stay. I see you. And if I see you... I can strike. So I guess he's like a serpent or something like that. Okay, acquire four regions owned by Egyptian acolytes. Oh, ooh, that hurts so much. So much grinding. So much grinding. Okay, but if at least I can get Valley of the, the Gods, at least I can start doing research again, right? 
So I'm guessing that's one of the territories, unless something else has opened up. Hold it a minute. I mean, she did want us to do him, right? Is there any more? Okay, I don't see anywhere else to do a scouting from, so I guess we're going this way. And if it's one of his territories like that, it's probably going to be like at least four fights. So, yeah, the next part of this may be a while. All right, let me get this one going here. All right, so the army is being replaced now. And um, I really do think that's all I can do at this point. So when I know what the situation is with the Valley of the Gods, there'll be two possibilities here. One is there's only one encounter, and then we'll come back and do that one encounter. There's more is the other option. If there's more, I need to do the other options because what it is I want to do, I want to finish the Cleopatra thing. And that means I have to get the Valley of the Gods. So, one way or another, we'll be back. A couple of battles, and some time later, and we're back. In the meantime, uh, we got the uh, Valley of the Gods opened up. It was three battles. I've done two of them, so one more, and I guess Cleopatra will be our friend. So, why don't we just jump right into that? I am a little confused about something. You'll notice the rewards. It's got... Two plots of land, but it's referring to them as regular expansions in Egypt. So I don't really know what that means. I guess we're going to find out as soon as we do this battle. They haven't been very difficult, but, you know, to be fair, this is the beginning of the campaign against them, right? So let's just jump right in. They've been fairly small, too, so it's been hard to, like, squeeze stuff in. Kind of like that. All right, so let's throw in the melee, and then we'll arrange them. Um, I guess we can kind of do... I can't actually fit three, can I? Well, four, I should say. So I guess I'm going to do that, and then I'll throw in these, and then we'll put the... Um, yeah, I mean, that's basically all I can really do in this situation. All right. By the way, I have used a bull a few times. It's kind of interesting, and of course, we're going to use it in this fight. So let's go. Okay, and heal right over here. That's good. Okay, and let's stone them right here. And then we'll put the horse, or I should say the bull over here. So we got a couple extra bulls. Yeah, they went down very quickly, though. I'm guessing if we want them strong, we're going to have to level him up. But as you can see, this is really not much of a problem. And we're done. Okay, so back to map. Okay, uh, yeah, I got Papyrus from the last battle. I guess this is gold? All right, it's gold ore. And now I'm going to acquire. You have freed the Egyptian kingdom, but we lurk in the shadows and prepare for the next battle. He wears a mask because he's ugly. All right, new expansion unlocked Egypt. And that's two of them. So, and also we got some leveling stuff for our commanders. So, let's see what's going on with this. All right, so this is now ours over here. So, let's start scouting this one. The Dust Bowl. Of course, we're not doing that one today. Okay, we should have some nice advancement coming to us now. All right, first things first, let me get this going here. So, I can get my troops back. And we'll do this over here too. How many horsies did I lose? Okay, I lost five horsies. How very unfortunate. Okay, do I have expansions here now? Yes, I have one expansion there. Why do I only have one? I'm very confused. All right, let's go over here. By the way, I did do the upgrading of the small homes. Uh, so I have completed this one for Sabina. Okay, have three compact cultural sites to level three. I've done that. This is complete. With all we're learning, we have a solid basis to grow our economy, sire. Uh, now, if there was a friendly culture, we could help as well. Well, it's funny you mention that. All right, strong and steady. 
Research 11 technologies of the Minoan era for the capital city. Okay, we can't do that until we uh, make friends with Clio. In order to keep our city thriving, my workers would like to see an increase in trade and a strong and steady supply of food. Let's make that our next priority. All right, and of course, I got one of the regions owned by the Egyptian acolytes, but more importantly, we have acquired the region Valley of the Gods. So she's been very patient, so let's talk to Cleo. Okay, research Rise of Egypt. All right, so I think I can actually do that now. All right, so let's jump in here. Rise of Egypt. All right, so this is going to unlock an allied culture, Egypt. It's also going to... Is that going to give me another upgrade? Or I can make another one. Oh, a small home. Is that different? I have no idea. All right, let's unlock. Allied culture, Egypt. What does that mean? Okay, we've unlocked a small home for Egypt and a luxurious home. Okay, what's going on here? Cleopatra, truly one who would help a culture in need is a partner to be cherished. Would you help us rebuild our great Egyptian kingdom? Okay, do I have another city? Tap on the new signpost button to visit Egypt. Oh, where? Okay, there it is. Oh, okay, so this is a completely different place and stuff. Okay, so let's jump in there then. All right, so this is different from my city then. It is a delight to welcome one who liberated our lands to my Egyptian kingdom. Well, I won it back. Isn't it technically mine? Uh, how does that work anyway? Much of what you see will seem familiar. Our workers, like yours, are always willing to help build improvements. Let's start with a home. Okay, so you have the entire Egyptian empire, and I'm just getting this. I mean, I think I should own the capital city. I mean, just me. I mean, I got it back. All right, and this is going to give me a worker. All right, I guess we could just, yeah, just leave it there for now. I'll move it later. You certainly guide my workers with a steady hand, but whilst your workers uh, earn coins, here in Egypt the currency is Deben. Okay, what is that? Water is a valuable resource in Egyptian kingdom uh, with our main source coming from the mighty Nile, and it has a very happy face too. To make the buildings more productive, they need to be placed next to a strong source of water like the Nile. Okay, so I have to pipe it over or something? There will be quests I will ask you to complete in return I offer my loyalty from now until the end of time, uh, or until you die, by the way. Spoiler alert on that. I now leave my kingdom in your capable hands. Okay, she, she's abdicated complete control to me. How foolish of her. All right, can I make another house? I can make four. Do I have enough of that currency? I apparently do. All right, so why don't we just uh, make some more? How many workers do I have? Okay, I can, I can make more. Make another one. We'll put one like over here and rotate it like there for now. And then we'll make another one because I can do that. And we're going to rotate that and put it over there. All right. And apparently these are the two plots I can get. Right. I guess I earned that other plot someplace else. I don't know. All I know is that I can build this one. And I probably should. And that one's going to take five minutes. We'll hold off on that one for a moment. All right, so that's done. That's done. That's done. Okay, repair. What is repair? Okay, we have to repair a bridge. Um, I Do I have the resource? I mean, no, I don't have the resources for that. I do not have the resources for that. Okay, and these are going to produce that uh, currency. All right, can I upgrade this? No, it just automatically upgrades. All right, so the rest of the research is not from my own area? I'm, I'm a little confused. Let's go over to research. Okay, so what is this? Um, oh, actually, I have to do this one first. Hold on a minute. It skipped ahead. Uh, Egyptian diplomacy. 
do I have enough of that currency? Yes, I do. All right, so I have a lot of this. So we're going to get a uh, gold mine, Papyrus Field, and, and, and luxurious versions. And, okay, the luxurious versions. Okay, so now I can get these. But now this is where I'm going to need that stuff from my own area, right? Uh, unlock the goldsmith. Unlock good onk for you. I don't know. Okay, I guess onks. The goldsmith will probably be able to make onks, right? All right, so what is the... Okay, I'm just going to grab it because I need to get it anyway. If I end up in a situation where I don't have the materials, then I don't have the materials. Like that, for instance. All right, you can take the, um, the research. I can get some more of those. I need a lot of them, though. Okay, the Papyrus Workshop. Is that another trade item? Or do I use it to build other things? I'm not really sure. All right, back and off. Okay, and grab all of those. All right, so I do need to make a couple of things here. There's a workshop? Yeah, the goldsmith, right. All right, so let's make the Papyrus Field. Um, for now, I guess we can just like put it. Okay, I guess it should be the farthest one away for now. I mean, I am opening up a spot over here. Oh, this is done already. Okay, so this is a spot too. All right, let me start working on that one. I guess I have to wait for that to be done in order to move it. Okay, but I do believe I can make the other one too, the gold mine. All right, uh, let's see. Rotate. That's not going to fit there, is it? How long is that one? No, it isn't. All right, well, let me rotate it then. Not going to fit? Nope, nope. All right, well, I'll find homes uh, eventually, right? All right, so we're working on a completely different area here. And from what we saw, eventually China is going to be in there as well. All right, I guess I have space down here to make the, the goldsmith. All right, I am running out of that currency. Oh, I don't have enough workers. How many do I need? I need three. Okay, so as soon as one of these things are done here, I will be able to do that. So am I going to be earning, I guess I can't see it because I can't scout it right now. I'm wondering, am I going to be earning um, plots of land for this instead of, uh, yeah, I'll probably be able to go across here too, instead of the other one. Let's just, uh, we're going to let that go for a minute. We'll head back home and see what's going on here because I can do a plot of land, right? I think I'd rather do this one. Right, I can do that. Four workers. Just go right ahead and do that. All right. And the horses are still being done. Everybody else is fine. All right. I needed... Um, oh, let me give that one. Oh, didn't want that. Okay, more research points. All right. Let me see. Uh, global offers. I need to get pendants. How much? Oh man, that's gonna. I'm gonna have to start selling stuff. A hundred. I think I need more than a hundred, though. I might have to just. Okay, 180 is a good one. I'll take 180. Uh, as a matter of fact, I might as well start trying to do this. I've been going with like 80 because they usually sell pretty quickly. Create an offer and make another one. I'm gonna have to go into production again to get a lot of these. All right, there we go. Yeah, one time they went so quickly, it just, somebody grabbed them while I was right here, you know? It was the same person, because somebody was looking for them, you know? All right, um, oh, we did this one now, right? Okay, collect. Okay, have seven workers in Egypt, we did that. Uh, research Egyptian diplomacy, we did that. Um, have a papyrus field, have a gold mine. Okay, I need both of those. Those are going to be done soon. Okay, and technologies, this one here will be done soon, too. That one's going to take a lot of fighting, though. All right, how are we doing here? I'm getting this plot of land. 
the horsies, it wouldn't matter if the horsies were back because the next place isn't going to open for uh, more than 43 minutes anyway. So let's just take a quick trip back over here. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get China. And I see lots of uh, space for growth because I'm guessing that's what's going to be happening. All right. So this is actually quite interesting, though, for me. I consider this to be very interesting. All right. Uh, I'm guessing that that's done now, both of them. Okay, collect. Now it's a matter of time. You have to collect them, right? And how many workers do I need for that? I mean, I might as well do the big... How many did you want? How, how many... How many it's, I, did she want like 50 or something? 50, okay. You know, uh, okay, you know, I'm just going to do it like this. We'll just do this for the moment. Obviously, I want the big ones, right? But we'll just produce them like this. And this is the papyrus field. Okay, 75. That's actually better. That'll fulfill that one. The gold, we're running a little bit behind. All right, so I'm waiting to actually produce stuff for that. And I'm waiting for this to be done. Because I... Oh, do I have the... No, I don't. I have one person available at the moment because I just designated them there. So when this is done... I might be able to make the goldsmith. But I am going to have to gather first. So how are we doing over here? Because I did I did get the iron pendants that I needed. So boom. Okay, and a papyrus press. All right, but I don't have room for that. All right, uh, let's spread around the... Well, I got to buy a bunch of those. An average home upgrade... And I can make another moderate cultural site. All right, let's just use the um, research. Hieroglyphics. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a lot of pendants, ain't I? Yeah, i got to buy a lot of them. All right, so that's going to take up the rest of my uh, research points. All right, from here on, we're going to have to split time between the two locations, aren't we? All right, this is done. All right, so I should have enough to start making... The, oh, actually, both of them. Well, let's make that one first. Um, actually, I could do it there. But I'm not going to have space. On the, I'm not going to have space unless, of course, I move things around, which I'm probably going to do. All right, so why don't we place that there? Okay, I saw happiness coming from something. Was it coming from the Nile? Oh, okay, so if something is on the Nile... It's going to make them happier. All right, can I do some irrigation to get some uh, happiness around there? All right, here, grab some of that. Okay, so I have enough of the papyrus. Oh, do I have enough for both of them? Okay, I, oh, 30 gold ore. Okay, so we're good to go. Okay, Research Ankh did that. Uh, start one Ankh production. And Ore. Okay, it's an end ore. All right, so here we go. Uh, of course, I haven't built it yet. It's going to take another nine minutes. So I kind of think that we're done with this for now. So we're setting up here in Egypt, and we're going to have our own little setup over here. And I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of things to add over time as we work for Cleo. Actually, Cleo is working for us, right? And our army has been restored. Absolutely. Very good indeed. So I am going to set this up to start cranking out stuff because I need that trade currency, All right? So that I can gather all the stuff I'm going to need. Obviously, a lot of everything, the busts and the, um, the marble busts, the iron pendants, those are the things that I can't make yet. So I'm going to have to trade for them. And we do have a, uh, a thing here for Egypt now, don't we? Yes, we do. All right, so we did a lot today. We finished off King Midas. He joined us, and then we went into the Valley of the Gods, uh, took that out, and of course, we are now uh, we now have a satellite city over in Egypt. And it looks like in the future, we'll be doing the same thing, and at very least, China. So I think that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya.